Good afternoon. For those who are new, I am Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be studying item number SCP-6135. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Anomalous item number 6135. Retrieved, Caesar Falls, Ohio, May 12, 1990. Current status, contained in storage locker B4J9 at Site-31's C-Wing. Summary, a copy of the album Stormfront, released by American singer Billy Joel in 1989. Item features an extended version of the song We Didn't Start the Fire, which contains an additional six verses, lasting 10 minutes and 45 seconds in total. No further copies of this version have been found. The original song's lyrics reference various cultural and political developments between the 1940s and the time of recording, in loosely chronological order. The additional verses are structurally similar, with the lyrics instead consisting of seemingly random names, terms, and phrases, and alluding to a number of events which did not occur in reality. While several known politicians and public figures are mentioned by name, most of those listed do not correspond to any known persons. When interviewed by Foundation staff, Joel and his producers denied having recorded an extended version of We Didn't Start the Fire, and the album was tentatively designated Anomalous Item 6135. However, its exact nature remains disputed, and the item's anomalous status has been placed for review in 1991. Excerpt Desert Storm, Rodney King, Yeltsin Raven back again, Bill Clinton, Ross Perot, Massacre at Waco, Kurt Cobain, Suicide, Nelson Tootsie, Genocide, Forrest Gump, Arafat, Tonya Harding, Internet, Mike Tyson, Tim McVeigh, OJ Simpson, DNA, Unabomb, a million man, Tupac Shakur, Taliban, Netanyahu, Pokemon, Harry Potter, Hong Kong, Princess Die, Waves Goodbye, Monica and Columbine. Addendum. As of March 12, 1991, item number 6135 is pending SCP reclassification at the request of Site Director Elliot Hawthorne. Arkansas Governor William Clinton and Soviet statesman Boris Yeltsin are currently being monitored in order to determine the extent and accuracy of number 6135's apparent predictive properties. Investigation into the identities of Tim McVeigh and Harry Potter is ongoing. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.